Now, one of the things I often get emails about is about meatballs. Because everyone says that, and they are dry. Yes, they are. I love meatballs, but you know, keftas and koftas and you know, all these lovely things. And when you have the Middle Eastern ones, they're never dry. It's just our Aussie version. My mother used to make meatballs. Dry was a word I would, I would actually use for it. And of course, I suppose you can throw in some eggs and that'll, that'll moisten them. But it sometimes makes them fall apart. Now, the secret, here it goes, the Hewitson secret to meatballs is some yogurt which I presume is what they put in the Middle Eastern ones, but I'm not sure, to be honest. But it moistens them, adds some extra flavour, and is a ripper idea. I like my ideas. I always reckon my ideas are ripper, don't I? Anyway, I've got there 500 grams of minced lamb. Of course you can make it with other mints. In fact, somebody wrote to me just recently and said... They don't eat red meat, so they made it with chicken mince. A different recipe, but, you know, same idea. Anyway, a couple of really good tablespoons of plain yogurt. To that, I then add some chopped coriander, quite a bit of it. Now, I've got a friend who hates coriander, so yes, you could use mint for this. And I'll just put the rest of my coriander, just while I'm here, into this bowl, which is a marinated onion. That's, that's the one. What I then need is some flavourings half a tablespoon of sambal olic or any chili paste. I wouldn't put sriracha in it, I don't think that works, but any Asian chili paste apart from sriracha is pretty good. And also a good teaspoon of smoked paprika, a good teaspoon of cumin, and also some salt and pepper. All right, and with your very clean hands, you then mix it up. If it's not moist enough, just add some more yogurt. But that looks pretty good, doesn't it? What I did forget is one medium onion, which I've chopped finely, and three or four cloves of garlic. All right, so mix that in well too. So just about the size of a, what would you say, a small golf ball or a large, or a large walnut, and into an oiled tray. And then we're gonna shove it in the oven, 170 degrees. All right, and one last little prep before we sit around and wait for the meatballs to be ready. I'm just gonna make a sort of a tzatziki or a rater or a bit of a mix of both. Some yogurt, plenty of freshly chopped mint, a bit more lemon juice, a few cloves of garlic. And then last but not least, we throw in some cherry tomatoes, which I've cut in eighths. A little bit of salt, just have a taste. Oh, that's good. They look rather good. They're nice form, they're not gonna fall apart. I've called it a pokey bowl, only because I love the idea of the pokey bowl, which originated in Hawaii, of course, and normally have sort of Asian-y influences, but I just like the idea that you get all these different wonderful flavors in it, and today it's a Greek one. Our marinated red onion, which can I tell you, I added a little bit more lemon juice. I thought, thought it was a bit lacking in the lemon juice department some tomatoes, really nice tomatoes. And on that, I add some cubed feta. I love feta. We've also got some baby cos leaves, which I do like. Some cucumber. As I said, you can do some cucumber pickles. There's a really nice cucumber pickle recipe on the website, so you could do that. And you can add other things like some radishes, which maybe is not terribly Greek, but will be nice. To that, I then add, not on the meatballs, you don't need this, but a little bit of red wine vinegar on the things that aren't dressed. You use sherry vinegar if you like, it's up to you guys. And a little bit of olive oil. I've got some tortillas here. You don't oil it, you just throw it on the grill, sprinkle some of the tzatziki over. And what I'm also going to do is serve a bit on the side. All right, so that is ready. That doesn't look bad, does it? Tortilla is looking rather good, but we better have another one, hadn't we? Right, to go with this. Nice Chardonnay. What is it? Light Hand Yarrow Valley Chardonnay. Now, I love the description as they said. It's a generous Chardonnay. Now, what does a generous Chardonnay mean? Does that mean... No, I don't know. <laughs> does that mean it's sort of got a bit of body to it, I reckon? Anyway, I'm told that this is the perfect wine for anything. It's got a bit of guts. Oh, that's good. 
you know, to be fair, almost anything from the Yarrow Valley these days, pretty damn wonderful. All right, a Greek Pokeball. Don't send me emails, particularly my friends from America. And we've got quite a few following us these days, which is lovely, really, really lovely. Because I'm a great fan of the States and particularly their food. Anyway, I'm digressing. Don't send me an email and say the Poke Bowl comes from Hawaii. I know, but I do like the idea of a sort of selection of things to go with my beautiful Greek meat. Cheers. Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe.